By the tender age of 16, many young girls in Africa have been exposed to the risk of sexually transmitted infections and HIV through premarital sex, physical, sexual, drug and alcohol abuse, all of which they are ill-equipped to deal with. Sadly, their major source of guidance is found in their peers and social media. There is an urgent need for godly mentorship for this generation that will enable them to discover and walk in their God-given potential. Set Apart is a new ministry that aims to raise a generation of young African women who choose to be set apart from the negative influences of this world. When I remember growing up as a young woman, I came to a point in my life where I felt really overcome by the world. And then God purposely brought a godly woman by the name of Pastor Maureen Shana into my life. You know, she took time to show me how to live the Word of God. She invested her time into helping me discover who I was in Christ. It's very easy for people to see greatness in you when you're at your best and doing well, but not everybody can when you're broken. But that's what she did. And at that point, I began to realize how important mentorship was. A mentor is able to see what you cannot see in yourself. They give you an opportunity to grow, they help you to discover greatness in yourself and offer you a platform to succeed. It was only in 2011 that Pastor Gladys was led by the Lord to start mentoring and helping other young women. My mentoring journey began with just one girl who I met in a bookshop here in Lusaka. At one of our meetings, she brought a friend, and her friend invited a friend along. And within a space of a month, we all began to grow spiritually and also in numbers. I remember walking into one of our meetings at Lusaka Hotel one Saturday afternoon only to find 15 young women sitting there waiting for me. And at that point I began to realize that God had a clear mission that he wanted accomplished. I inquired of the Lord and asked him, Lord, what do you want me to do with these women? And his instruction was clear. He said, fix their minds. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 teaches us the transformation that can take place in a person's life when they allow their minds to be renewed by the Word of God. I had just moved from the Copper Belt to Lusaka and I was so used to being with my mom and my mother taking care of me. Then when I moved here I discovered that I was all alone and not only that, there were so many problems going on in my family that I couldn't really understand. My family expected so much from me. They were expecting me to be someone who does well in everything. They were expecting great things from me. So I think the pressure was just too much on me. I never liked staying home. I used to go around. We used to live near a compound. That is where I used to go. Most of the time you'd find me. I wouldn't sit in the bars, but I would get buy a cigarette or buy some a bottle of, of beer and I'll be moving around just there around the compound because no one knew me from there. No one knew about it. No one knew about what was going on. But if they did, no one ever approached me and spoke to me about it. My family expected so much from me. I didn't want them to find out, especially my mom. I didn't want them to know what was going on in my life. I didn't want them to know. I still don't want them to know.
Nyasha is one young lady whose life has been transformed by the support from Set Apart. I had a thing with my friend's boyfriend and um, like there was really a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, a lot of backbiting and a lot of ugliness. Peer pressure contributed to a large amount um, of my actions but I think also it's important to take note of the fact that my relationship with God had downward spiraled and I didn't have the Holy Spirit speaking to me so basically the devil was my guide and he was cheering me on and whatnot so I was living my life according to the flesh and I wasn't paying attention to anything else so yes I don't want to totally blame friends because everyone has choices it's either you become the influencer or the influenced but yes friends did contribute but I also played the role um, I've had four relationships um, and um, the longest was two years, shortest four months and the most hurtful was my last relationship that ended last year in October. I think it left me the most shattered because I lost someone who was one of my best friends and my boyfriend at the same time because of how they hurt me and what they did to me. So. I was harboring a lot of unforgiveness and a lot of hurt and you know it's hard for you to lose a friend who you're supposed to apparently confide in at the time and then you lose your boyfriend at the same time and you kind of have no one to turn to. These are testimonies of many young lives that have been impacted by the work of Set Apart. From the time that I was born I've not known my father and his family. I really don't know anything about them. When I was growing up, I stayed with a number of uh, mom's relatives, and one of them was my auntie. And this auntie was so harsh on me. I mean, she would, she would call me names. She told me, you're like your, your mother, you won't go anywhere because you don't know your father, you will be nobody in life. I've experienced rejection, I've experienced mistreat by people who are promising to keep me. Every time she would say bad words towards me, the first thing that would come in my mind would, would be maybe killing myself would be the best thing to do. And really that time, I had no one to pay for my school fees. And I was thinking, wait, my friends are going to school, but I'm not going to school. Maybe killing myself would be the best thing to do. I was trying to sell water in Mandevu, somewhere the junction. I would sell water and just buy books for myself and for my sisters. By God's grace, I competed school last year at Kablonga Girls. I really don't know how I competed school, but God made a way for me. You know, I was living in Mandevu and going to school every day Getting on four buses, going to Kablonga, was really by the grace of the Lord. I don't know how I competed at school, but really God was there in my life. Set Apart now has a dedicated membership of 50 young single women aged between 18 to 28 years. Currently, Set Apart is offering a number of activities to support these young women. These include mentoring classes held twice a month, education and moral support for disadvantaged girls, workshops and camp meetings aimed at personal development, community development activities, annual conferences aimed at spiritual growth, Set Apart Zambia aims to raise a generation of young women who will be effective and fruitful in their families, the workplace, the community, and the world at large. You know, we can never take these young women out of the world. And quite honestly, we don't have 
the power to protect them from all the influences of the world. But one thing that we can do is that we can be present in their lives, to love, to encourage, and to support them. And most importantly, to teach them the truth of God's word. You know, it is this truth that will help them to discover who they are, their God-given potential. It will help them to exceed limitations and to birth destiny to the glory of God. Wow. There's so much that I want to tell a girl that is going through the same situation that I went through. Um, substance abuse is not something that you take lightly. So many people here are drinking, so many people are smoking, and they think it's part of life, but it's not really part of life. God has given us this great life, and if you choose to abuse it, really, it doesn't really make sense. Um, there is hope. There is hope there's something great out there for you. I'll be saying thank you every day. <laughs> um, I'd just love to say thank you to mom, mom P. She's been such a great person. Within these few months that she, I've actually got to know her and she's actually got to know me, there's been a tremendous change in my life. Um, what I thought I couldn't achieve, I'm now achieving. What I didn't see in myself, she saw in me. And believe me, you, I'm a great person. I'm a great person. Thank you, Mom. When you see me today, it is because of the mentorship that she's been doing in my life. I mean, I'm so grateful to every girl in Set Apart for their encouragement. I mean, they're good friends. And I'm so grateful to God for them in my life. Thank you so much. Thanks to Set Apart, I've been able to discover God's purpose for my life according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I have made great friends at Set Apart. Set Apart changed my life. Come and join us, your life will change. The first person in my family who is going to break the cycle of poverty. Thank you Set Apart for the person that I've become. Set Apart has made me rebranded. Set Apart for me is like home. I don't have to pretend. I have made great friends. I have family here and I would like everybody to come and join. It's amazing. I thank God for Set Apart. It's the best place to be. Come and join the fun. Become part of the Set Apart family because mentoring matters. Partner with us today and together let's raise a generation of young women who become agents for positive change in this generation to the glory of God. Amen.